What's up, everybody? This is Kayvon, the most famous half-Persian comedian in the world. I'm here in New York City. I just landed, and uh, yeah, so I want you to check out my new hotel, you guys. Uh, this has been quite a week for hotels. If you've been following me, you have seen that my hotel situation has been, uh, uh, let's just say, very unique, okay? So um, I'm going to bring you with me to my hotel. I checked in the hotel, and you're talking about $200 a night. I'm going to show the world right now what you get in New York City for $200 a night. Before we get in my hotel room, remember, I'm in New York on Wednesday. I'm going to be in Sacramento, San Francisco, then Oxnard and Brea, California. So get your tickets on www.kvon.tv. Tag your friends, send them. Now, if you're ready to see the New York Hotel, please give me some thumbs up in the comments and uh, also leave a comment as to where you are so I can show you. Uh, I'll do a shout out to you after this, okay? But yeah, put in the, put some thumbs up if you're ready to see my hotel. Uh, I'm taking you back to the hotel with me. You know how we do. Mm, mm. It's not every day a comedian brings you back to the hotel. Or maybe it is. That makes you a chuckle. They call it a chuckle humper. A girl who loves only comedians, she's a chuckle humper. Okay, so here we go. We're in the hotel. Uh, I flew here from Montreal. And this is what it looks like. Check it out. All right, so you're gonna see right here, that's the bed, there's the window, and uh, there's the sink, and there's the bathroom. That's right, you have now seen the whole hotel. Where, what the hell is going on here? The bed, okay, the bed touches the TV. I laid down in the bed and accidentally turned the TV off with my foot. Then they've got like a, like this little sink. That's the weirdest little sink I've ever seen. They got the old school phone. I don't even know how to dial one of these. Old school. And then uh, this is the bathroom. That's right. You're talking about $200 per night. And they're trying to be all cute with it. No diving. No diving. I can't even uh, get my whole body in there. Two and a half feet deep. And there you go. So you have now got a whole tour of the hotel. You're looking at $200 a night. There is no side room. There's, they don't even have a place to put stuff under. I mean, that, this is my closet, you guys. I got some underwear right there and some socks. And I was like, oh, well, at least I get a little drawer. No, they got a safe in the drawer. So there's no room in there. Well, welcome to my hotel. As you can see, nothing's going to be going down in this hotel room. There's no room. It's barely uh, big enough for us to talk in here. And you guys are just here virtually. So, yeah, my last hotel, if you remember, had a guitar in it, an electric guitar, and this hotel, you have the full 360 view. Uh, that's right. If you do bring someone back, you're going to get real cozy. It's a twin size bed. I don't know how old these twins are, but I don't think I'll be having twins in the New York hotel room. So, that is where I'm at. What am I supposed to do, guys? Uh, I figured I'd just talk to you because I just landed in New York City. And uh, you needed to see, you have to see what comedy life is like. The last hotel had the electric guitar. This hotel is 10 feet by 10. Prisoners get bigger accommodations and the tax dollars pay for it. I'm paying my own way here. With that said, thank you for tuning in. Those of you who know I was in Montreal, uh, some of you, I think you should, uh, I think you should be very proud of yourselves. We had a blast. We sold out Montreal. The photos were perfect. And then afterwards it was the Just for Laughs uh, comedy convention or so to speak comedy festival and I went down to the main drag and go on my photos on Instagram I do this jump you've never seen a more graceful jump I, here's what happened guys I watched Mission Impossible Tom Cruise is 50 almost 57 years old he looks like he's 29 okay and people call me the Tom Cruise of Persian comedy but I'm looking at my I don't think I'll be able to look like I'm 25 when I'm 57. I, I don't know, I'm gonna try. So I started getting more fit and I did this jump. It's kind of a cross between Hugh Jackman and Tom Cruise. So go on the picture and be like, yeah, that's Tom Cruise or that's Hugh Jackman and tell me who I look more like. But I jumped and I extended my foot and it's very ballerina-esque. Ballerina-esque, that's right, that's a new word, I think. I don't think that's in the dictionary. With that said, guys, I consider this my podcast. I try to talk to you about twice a week about things that are going on. And uh, have you heard of the paper straw ban? If you haven't, it's coming your way. Whatever happens in California comes your way eventually. Okay, 
paper straw ban. What does that mean? Uh, well, plastic straw ban. It means that California has decided we don't want any more straws. So, here's the thing. If you want to use a straw in California, I know a lot of girls, they always ask for a straw. I could care less usually, but a lot of girls will say, oh, there's germs on the rim of the glass, you know, or they'll say, well, I don't want to mess up my lipstick. I need a straw. Well, guess what? No more. Now, they're going to give paper straws. Starbucks is in on it. Uh, you can get in trouble for using a plastic straw. You can get fined for it. I tried one of these paper straws. I don't like it. Okay, it's good at first. If you want to take, if you want to drink it fast, <laughs> done. But most people sip their drink. They're they're hanging with their family. Tell me in the comments. Do you like the plastic straw ban? Are you a fan of paper straws? Because I had a paper straw, and after about 10 minutes of having a conversation, I went back to lick the paper straw. It was like licking a tampon. Okay which I've never done, I'm just imagining. It was like dry and kind of soggy and you know, trying to get in its limp. It's like, it's, it was literally like limp, licking a soggy paper tampon insert. Not good. Also, I've been on a strict diet, ladies and gentlemen, uh, after watching the Mission Impossible movie. Go see it, go enjoy Tom Cruise. Tell me what you think about this 57 year old specimen running jumping I was like damn so what did I do I got to New York City I went straight to the gym started doing pull-ups try to do your age and pull-ups I'm gonna post a video of me doing pull next time we go live I'm gonna try to do pull-ups and I'll show you how many I can get down and uh, and the final thing is I posted a brand new video the new video is a true story about a comedy club that I was at where the security guard had one arm and so that's the new comedy clip as you can see my comedy is a uh, yeah, it's not exactly politically correct right now. Maybe, uh, maybe you are maybe an overly sensitive PC social justice warrior. You will not like some of these clips. You can watch the 200 old clips. But for my fans that are just getting on board, thank you for finding me. So glad to have you here. Facebook does ban comedians and keep our our feed. You see a lot of political stuff. You see anything hateful or controversial. But you won't see comedians jokes because they're trying to ban us. So what you can do, go on kvon.tv, kvon.tv, put your email in the mailing list, and booyah. Then, and only then, will you get all the videos. I send them once a month so that if they ban you on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, I got all that, Telegram, but we can only count. We can only count on having your email. That's the best way. All right, folks, uh, one more tour for those of you who are just now tuning in. Get ready to see the smallest hotel room in the world. I'm going to go uh, around New York City now and start letting people know about the show. And one last thing I'm going to watch tonight. This is the room, by the way, guys. You're looking, if I, oh, I can touch every wall from the middle of my room, if I so choose. Uh, if you do want to come back to the hotel room, it's going to be real cozy. All right. You can sleep in the shower. We can have someone else sleep on the toilet. And that's all you get, guys. I get the bed. I paid for it, damn it. All right, get out of here. Thank you guys for watching. I'm going to go do the same thing on Instagram right now. So, uh, yeah, don't tell them we already talked. It gets kind of weird. I'm going to show the hotel room again like it's the first time. And at 10 p.m., I'm going to watch Floribama Shore. I live tweet because the cast members, they know me. And we write back and forth, and I make fun of them. So if you want to see that show, Floribama Shore, it's on MTV. We can watch it together, we can live tweet, and you can ask me any question there too. Alright, I'll see you guys on Instagram. Later.